What's going on guys? My name is Renegade. Today we're here for another AKW Top 5 video. I haven't done one of these in ages, but I think I might want to make this sort of a more regular thing on my channel. So let me know in the comment section down below if one, you'd like that, and two, what are the top five videos you'd like to see. But today we're going to be going over my top five personal favorite classes in AKW. I've made this video before. A long long time ago but more classes have come out since then I've obviously changed my opinions and stuff since then so we're gonna be going over from worst to best my top five favorite classes now before I get into that and start confusing a lot of people with my reasoning and stuff let's just make a couple of points clear about what I look for and what I enjoy in a class one obviously complexity so I enjoy abilities influencing other abilities um, I enjoy, you know, oppressing one ability and then having other effects applied by other abilities, you know, just generally just comboing and together stuff generally just is kind of fun and it's more adds more complexity to a class than just simply using four abilities. Short cooldowns, that's obviously a really fun thing. I am AKW is a kind of a button mashy game, but being able to button mash more frequently than other classes is obviously gonna be a bit more fun. Um, a class that sort of strives for a specific purpose. Is kind of cool as well so something that maybe tries to do something really well or tries to do something a bit different and isn't maybe isn't just a farming or a soloing class maybe that sort of thing is what I enjoy as well um, and finally you know theme and so if a class is themed really well and it just is sort of I, I, I guess it just sort of fits its name and its design and stuff and its abilities all sort of tie together really well so with all those things being in mind this is gonna be my top five favorite classes in AKW Coming in at number five, we have Void Highlord. Now, this is a class that fits the sort of theme aspect. I, I really enjoy the animations. The It kind of has short cooldowns as well. Um, I enjoy the animations, I enjoy the, the cooldowns, and I enjoy the just overall theme, like I mentioned before. Theme is pretty important to me, and it fits the whole like badass sort of Nolgath, really powerful sort of idea with this class it just does that super well it's you know it's a super powerful class obviously i'd like for it to be a more refined purpose as i said in my void high lord review i said that this class could have been a really cool tanking class but instead they made it sort of just a uh, just monstrosity of a just amazing soloing class which i guess is fine in the current ecosystem but in the future maybe when uh, AKW sort of evolves as a game and becomes a lot better and the combat sort of gets a, a bit of an overhaul I'd love for this class to be a tanking class um, But that's beside the point this class is super powerful. It's got short cooldowns. It's themed super well So it is coming in at number five at number four we have Vampire Lord This is the newest class in the game at the time of recording this video and it's yeah It's a I really like the cooldowns really to be honest with you um, now I'm talking about this class on testing servers if you've seen this class on testing servers it is Absolutely without a doubt the best farming class in the game. It's so so incredibly powerful It's dots are really big when you're not using Aspect of the bat, but when you're using aspect of the bat your cooldowns are literally like I'll see if I can get this to record on my microphone Yeah, I'm literally sitting there. I'm going On my keyboard like it's ridiculous on live servers the 500% haste boost actually only works up to 50% So you only get a 50% haste boost on aspect of the bat on testing servers that 500% haste boost works perfectly so your cooldowns are so ridiculously short that I'm just sitting there and I'm just mashing my keyboard, literally mashing my keyboard. And so it is, without a doubt, just it's, it's a completely unique and interesting experience, honestly, using this class. It's not necessarily the most fun thing in the game, but it is 100% a unique experience, and that's what I look for in these classes. Plus, Vampire Lord, its theme is done pretty well. It, it does fit the sort of vampire theme quite, quite well, and uh, I just enjoy the whole, like, kind of... I guess the just how it was released in the game as well and it was yeah just the theming and stuff around it's cool too coming in at number three we have naval commander now this is probably really surprising for you guys but for me naval commander is about it's sort of about what it tries to do and what it tries to turn AKW into at the moment AKW is full of classes like void high lord is a really good example of this where it just does everything really well void high lord tanks it heals it does insane damage. It's ridiculous. It does everything that you could possibly have in a class in the game except for like support. And so you're you're combining all these elements and just putting them into one class. Whereas Naval Commander tries to be something more specific. Now it is a tank support class, but I'm okay with that because um, it's still not like a really overpowered class by itself. 
whereas most classes in EQW are really overpowered by themselves. And this is a completely separate issue that I've discussed in length before, but basically Naval Command is one of the only classes in the game that tries to reinforce the idea of cooperation. It, it doesn't think, it, it's not just a really good class by itself. It's not bad, but it's definitely not amazing by itself. But when you combine it with other classes like perhaps Stone Crusher or Chrono Dragon Knight or, you know, glass cannon type classes that are really weak on their on their own but are good when they've got support, then you create really amazing synergies. Naval Commander can tank hits and heal Chrono Dragon Knight while Chrono Dragon Knight does insane damage. That there is a synergy and we need more of that in the game. And Naval Commander is perfect and it's amazing because it tries to reinforce that idea of, yes, we like cooperation. We want our players to be cooperating. We want our players to work together. And that's what I really want AQW to be. And Naval Commander tries to reinforce that idea. It's one of the only classes that actually does so. Coming in at the number two spot, we have Shadowstalker of Time. This class is not only very powerful, but it's also very difficult to use. It, it feels like there's an actual balance where you're like, Yes, this class is incredibly difficult to use, but if I can master it, then I reach a point where I'm like, wow, this class is powerful. Void Highlord is just simply powerful, right? You use ability number three and you're gonna get a big hit and it's gonna be satisfying and it's gonna be like, okay, that was good. Shadowstalker of Time, it's not like that. You gotta work hard and you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta work out the combo. You gotta get your timings down. And once you've done all that, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's satisfying. It took me a really long time to learn Shadowstalker of Time to the point where I could say, yes, I can consistently hit 50k hits. For Void High Lord, it was like 20 minutes before I learned, you know, oh, okay, let's just spam everything and yeah, it's gonna hit hard, I guess. Shadowstalker of Time, you feel like you're, it's a kind of average class at first, but then as you learn it and as you master it and as you work out the kinks and work out how to use it, it becomes a, like a monster of a class. It's ridiculously powerful and uh, it, it feels like it's, it's honestly worthy of being that powerful. It feels like you're working for it and it feels like you are being challenged and that's a big thing for me. Feeling like I'm challenged in AQW is a very rare thing, and Shadowstalker of Time genuinely made me feel that when I was learning it. And it took me a while, it took me like two hours, three hours to actually learn how to use Shadowstalker of Time. And so, for that reason, it's it's also a really well-themed class, right? It's it's really well-themed, you know, you've got the time aspect in there, and you know, you've got your, uh, sh your shadow like animations and stuff, and it looks badass, like the class itself just looks insanely good. But... Aside from all that, it's just a really rewarding class to use because it's so difficult and it's so hard to master. At number one, probably the most predictable spot on this list, we have, of course, Card Clasher. God, I love this class so much. I could talk all day about how much I love this class. Let's, let's run through my criteria. I think I can remember it. I should probably just watch back my recording, but let's run through the criteria for what makes a class fun. You've got the, the theme, you got short cooldowns, you got the class trying to do something unique, and you've got a, uh, I guess, a class trying to have, trying to make you think about what you're doing, trying to actually make you think. Card Clash fits all of that. It's got an amazing theme, you know, you're dealing out cards, and it, just the armor itself looks great, and just the ability names, and the, the animations, and just everything is themed super well around the card theme. Really well, probably the best in, in the game, to be honest. Um, the uh, cooldowns are really short, like super short, apart from the last ability, which I, I think is not very short. Hold on, I don't actually use the, that ability like ever with this class. Let's just let's just give it a look. Let's, let's see how, um, how how much of a cooldown that is. Yeah, it's six seconds. That's the longest cooldown in the class. So yeah, really short cooldowns. You've got the class does something incredibly unique. It's a, it's a soloing class, yes, but it's you're dealing out cards and then tapping them and using them in combat. Like it's just you are using your animations to make decisions about the gameplay you're you're doing so it's it's incredibly unique in that respect and then um finally yes like i said you're making decisions it's the, like the only class in the game from my knowledge that that instead of using a combo the most efficient way to use this class and i keep that in mind i said most efficient uh, way to use this class is to use a combo there are other classes where you can make decisions but the most efficient way to use the vast majority of classes in the game is to think right this is shadow stalker of time i'm going to use this combo because this is what's going to get me the best results. Getting the best results with Card Clasher is not to use a combo, but rather to use ability two, look at the cards that were dealt, and then think to yourself, am I going to raise the stakes, or am I going to tap it, or am I going to deal some more cards? Those are your three options that you have whenever you use ability two, and you've got to make that decision over and over again, and it's super, super interesting in that way. 
Yes, it's still really basic. Yes, AQW is still really boring when using Card Clasher, but it's the only class in the game that really makes me think about what I'm doing. Um, one thing please keep in mind, by the way, this is sort of the end of the video here. Um, this is all my own opinion. 100% my own opinion. This is all just coming straight from me. None of this is, is very objective at all. Honestly, this is just me just sitting down and thinking, you know, what classes do I enjoy? What classes do some unique stuff? What classes are, have some good animations and all that sort of thing? So it's really not, not very objective. Um, and also, I have not used a lot of classes. If we if you look at my character page, you can see that I've got a, a pretty large amount of classes in my inventory. But one, I very rarely use the vast majority of them, so I've probably like forgotten about some of them. And uh, also, I am missing quite a few classes. I don't have classes like Chrono Commander. I don't have um, ch I don't have uh, Chunin, Chunin, Chunin. I think it's Chunin. Um, I don't have Dragon Shinobi. I don't have a lot of like older sort of rare classes. So keep that in mind as well. But yeah. Other than that though guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.